bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Well, I'm glad you could join us. Perhaps you picked up your cell phone and looked at it and then looked at the bill and said, you know, I didn't, I, where does this come from? And there's extra charges on there. We're about to find out about that from Rochelle Chong, who's a commissioner of PUC. And the term I'm finding out is cramming. Cramming is the term. Explain a little bit more about that. Yes, uh, cramming is a term at the PUC that refers to services or charges that are not authorized that show up on your phone bill, regardless of whether it's your phone at home, your cell phone, or a pager, for example. And um, it's a problem because every now and then you'll look at your bill and you'll see something on there that you didn't order. And mm -hmm. it may not be a big charge, it could be a dollar, five dollars, but you didn't authorize it. And so I wanted to tell people to make sure they check their bill every month mm -hmm. to make sure there's, that everything on there is things that you recognize and that you authorized. And if there is something that you didn't authorize, to immediately call your carrier and let them know that. Okay, my question is, how does it get on there? Where does it come from? That's right. So they can be, for example, uh, a ringtone or a wallpaper for your cell phone. Now it could be that you ordered it, but there should be an authorization that comes through to make sure that you really ordered it and you have to put in usually a PIN number or some kind of authorization to say, I agree to buy this. Now what we found is that on occasion, we do have some companies that are not getting the appropriate authorization from the customer and that's usually the situation where all of a sudden you either start receiving it could be a joke service on your phone or things that you don't recognize as something you wanted. And then at the end of the month, you'll notice this unusual charge. Okay. Why would they do that unless they make money on it? Oh, they uh, usually these are pay services. So you're either going to pay for it or the... But wouldn't, excuse me, interrupting yes, you, Michelle, but wouldn't that bill be on your regular, uh, let's say Verizon, Verizon carrier? Wouldn't that sure. be on that bill? And wh how would they get... If somebody else puts it on there, how do they get paid? Is that uh, a naive question? No, I don't know. I'm no, trying to figure that out. You know. The telephone carriers have relationships with third parties who provide these types of services, non-communication services, to yeah. their customers, I see. such as the ringtones and the right. wallpapers that go on your cell phone or joke-a-day type of services. So the carrier has a relationship with this third party to allow them to place charges on your phone bill. And what the PUC is concerned about is to make sure that you've truly authorized those services to be on your phone bill. Yeah. Okay. And people are doing that. Uh, I mean, that's illegal, isn't it? That's right. It is illegal. I mean, <laughs> let's, let's get right <laughs> down to it. You can't do that. That's right. You and know? it's called cramming and it's illegal. Yeah. Okay. So the PUC uh, is, is cracking down on that? Who yes. FCC is doing it or who is? Yes. Um, you can complain either to the FCC or to the PUC uh -huh. if you talk to your carrier, tell them you didn't authorize it, and the carrier doesn't immediately take the charge off. The carrier should immediately not charge you for it. They will go probably do further investigation to make sure that they don't have evidence that in fact it was authorized. Uh -huh. But in the meantime, they should take the charge off. And if the carrier does not do it, then you should feel free to call the California PUC to our complaint bureau and let us know that uh -huh. so that we can investigate further on okay. behalf and of the And you're very good about that. They're very good. Uh, one quick story. When my son, who's now 13, was about eight or nine, he had my cell phone. He was in the back seat of the car. I didn't know what he was doing. You know, driving, and he's back there. And he downloaded uh, movie reviews from the New York Times. And I don't know how he, I still don't know how he did that. Anyway, <laughs> so I got the bill. And I looked at it, and my cell phone bill was like, you know, $350 or <laughs> something. <laughs> and they were nice about it. I called them, and I said, hey, I don't know anything about this. And they took the charges off. So people will cooperate. Yes, they should. You know. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Um, now, just be aware, sometimes people have very skinny data plans, yeah. and so if you're downloading a lot of things, that may cause your bill to go up, which is okay. what it sounds like it happened okay. with you. Rochelle, always good to see you, and I'm glad you've got good information and good news for uh, consumers. Rochelle Chong's here, California PUC, and always nice to have Rochelle with us.